Hi, my name is Lori Nestoria and I am President and CEO of Evis Aesthetics. And for me, what I would like to show you today is how to do a proper deep pour cleansing as if you were doing a facial. So this is our cleansing part of our professional facial treatment with the cleansing oils. They are very unique and very different and amazingly beautiful at setting the skin up for all of the rest of the things you're going to do in your treatment. So uh, let's begin. First thing that we always do, I think, is start with removing the eye and lip makeup. To me, nothing is worse than seeing a client walk out with all this mascara still underneath her um, eyelids and thinking of smearing the lipstick all over the place. So we're going to take a cotton square or a cotton round, squeeze the excess water out of the back of your hand, and we're going to use the cleansing oil. I'll talk more about the cleansing oils later, but right now we're going to put a little bit of cleansing oil onto the cotton Put your hand on the customer and go ahead and remove the eye makeup. Now, if the client is wearing waterproof mascara, you'll actually want to take your cotton and your cleansing oil, put a little bit on, and then let it soak for just a second or two while you're removing the lipstick. It will help loosen that mascara without removing all of their eyelashes at the same time. Not a good thing. Put your hand next to their mouth to remove the lipstick. It stops them from getting startled. There we go, and we've removed the eye makeup. We are going to start with the surface cleansing with cleansing milk. And by surface cleansing, I mean literally not the deep pore stuff, but the makeup removal. And since this is just the surface, I only have to do the face. I don't go into the neck or the upper chest or any of the rest of the body parts that we include when we start to do the complete treatment. This really is not about anything deep at this point. So it's very brief, very easy, and just includes the face. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this with my sponges. So as I'm doing this, I'd like to talk for a second about cleansing oils. Our concept and theory of our entire 2Well skincare line is that nothing cleans like a cleansing oil. If you've never used a cleansing oil, it's a completely different thought process or concept. But if you start to think about the fact that a cleansing oil or an oil is actually what we remove from the skin, we're dissolving sebaceous oil, and even the most driest of skin types will still have sebaceous oil on the surface. And sebaceous oil as an ingredient is a very sticky substance. And what happens is you have dead skin and everything that stays on the face actually held on by the sebaceous oil. So a cleansing oil will dissolve the oil on the skin and start to exfoliate the skin, exfoliate and dissolve all of the stuff that holds pores open and really start your whole professional skincare treatment. Unlike waiting until you get to the exfoliation stage, you can start your professional treatment with the cleansing oils. A key thing about using cleansing oils correctly is you have to put it on dry skin. So you actually have to remove the excess moisture from the skin. Put a little slit in that tissue so your customer can breathe. You know, a breathing customer is a paying customer and we'll also be able to rebook and come back, but it just makes it so much more comfortable for the customer if you don't completely cover their nose. So I don't like any wiping to go on with tissue, so we're just going to blot. And the goal of this is just to remove the moisture so that when we apply the cleansing oil, it is on dry skin and the cleansing oil can actually marry the debris and the sebaceous oil that we are going to rinse off. <clears throat> so, now I'm going to actually start what I would consider truly part of the facial treatment, which is the decollete, the neck, and the face. One of the things about anti-aging that I think that we really ignore is that aging is probably on the hands and the neck and the upper chest, almost more on the face. 
So don't ever forget those body parts. I don't care the age of your customer or their goal. Make sure you really pay attention to those body parts so that you are including your amazing treatment on everything that really matters. So I'm going to massage this cleansing oil for a few minutes. Again, this is actually how we would do our professional facial treatment. This is not how she would wash her face at home. And we always do a much deeper cleansing in the facial treatment than we do at home. So I want you to make sure that you take care of all those little tiny body parts. Make sure you get the upper lip, the chin, the neck, and the shoulders, and massage it for just a few minutes. Now I'm going to add a product, and it's called Herbalizer. We have herbalizers that are, and cleansing oils, customized for each skin type. And what I'd like to show you is that it's brown, if you can see it. It's sugar, it's plant sugars. So it is supposed to be brown. It actually smells very, very sweet because it is indeed sugars from plants. And this particular product actually will make your cleansing oils water soluble. So you can't just use the cleansing oil by itself. You use the cleansing oil, you massage it in, and then you use the herbalizer directly over that. And you do the same exact massage over so that you are bonding the debris and sebaceous oil of the skin with the cleansing oil. And now you're actually bonding the oil and the herbalizer. All sugars are humectants. So you're helping hydrate the skin at this point with the herbalizer. But then on top of that, you're making the cleansing oil water soluble. So I've got it worked in. And now I'm going to start a process that is really interesting and very, very different if you have never used a cleansing oil, what we call a hydrophilic cleansing oil. Can you see what's happening to her face, to her skin? It immediately changed the way it looked by adding some water and it immediately starts to change the way it feels. Your goal is to rinse the products off your hands and add water to the face until you feel skin and you don't feel the cleanser anymore. So it doesn't feel oily, it feels like skin. The first time you do a facial treatment on a customer, in other words, when you have a new customer come in, it might take you 10 or 12 times the very first time of adding water till you get to skin. When you have a customer using the products at home, it'll take you two or three times. So I'm at skin with her. She uses the products at home. She's a professional esthetician herself and actually uses the products in her back bar. So her skin is already uh, exfoliated and the stuff, the dead stuff that hangs on is dissolved because I've already done a really good cleansing and because she uses the products at home. So it will only take adding water once or twice with her. So we're going to go ahead and use the barber towel. And I always use diapers. They're soft and absorbent. Very easy to manipulate. If you've never worked with water like this, it feels very drippy and Interesting at the beginning, you just have to make sure that you go behind the neck. But when you use a cleansing oil and in your professional facial treatment and you learn how to use them properly, I promise you nothing will clean the skin like a cleansing oil. And when you clean with a cleansing oil, everything else is enhanced. So I invite you to try them and have a good day.